Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to show you guys this Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation and my kids are in here as well if you hear them. But yeah, this is in the color 75 Natural Beige. I picked it up yesterday. I'm not sure how much it costs though. I actually did not see the price. I just knew I wanted to try it. So yeah, I already moisturized my skin and my skin has been very dry lately. But I've been enjoying it because normally I'm very oily. Um, I still get oily in my T-zone, but like my skin is so, so dry. I don't know if it's just because of the weather. But yeah, I've been um, enjoying my dry skin actually. But I, I meant to pick up a dewy type of foundation. But I didn't know if, you know, how that was going to work because like I said, I'm normally oily. So I got the Dream Velvet Maybelline foundation that I heard was really good. And my beauty blenders are dirty right now, so I'm just going to be applying it with like a buffing type of brush. So yeah, this is my first time using it. Hopefully the, may Hopefully the color is, you know, good for me. So let's see. So yeah, hopefully the color matches me pretty well. Let's see. I have concealer for my brows. I do work today, unfortunately. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit. I hope... I think this might have been like $10, which is kind of annoying. Drugstore is going up and up. Um, but it's like a mousse type of consistency. Gosh, I hope this color works for me. I don't match it to my face because my face is lighter than the rest of my body. So, let's see. Yeah, it's like a whipped type of foundation. So, Oh, and I don't think, it doesn't seem like I would need that that much. Okay, so I'm just gonna buff it into my skin. It feels nice. Oh. So yeah, I'm just buffing it into my skin. It seems like the color is working for me. So far, I always tend to go towards like natural beige or something. Natural something. Beige, anything is pretty much my color. It seems actually like it's a little bit light for me but once it sets we'll see how I like it so yeah I applied it with a brush a um, buffer type of brush and I do like the way that it applies you guys um, it applies pretty nice, and I don't feel like it feels super drying like a matte foundation. I kind of like the way that it feels better than the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, which you guys know is like my absolute favorite. So let me get a little closer so you guys can see the coverage. It's a really good coverage foundation. I would say medium to buildable full foundation coverage. Full coverage, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's a, it does seem to be a tad bit light for me, but I'm going to see if it sets. Like, it matches pretty well. Sorry, you guys. My kids, I swear, they fight every single day, and they are literally four years old and one years old. Yeah, it, it covers it covers good. I like it so far. So, yeah. I did apply a moisturizer first, a thicker type of moisturizer, um, because like I said, my skin has been dry. And I do work today, so I'm going to see how this holds up all day. But so, yeah, I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, and then I'll get back on camera for you guys. Okay, guys, so I finished my makeup for the day. It's a very natural look. Today, it's actually a casual day at work. So I really like the way the foundation applies. It's really, like, it's hydrating. It's... It feels nice on the skin. It's not like super drying like a matte foundation typically feels. And I love matte foundations. But I really like the way that it applies. It's very easily, it can very easily be like a full coverage foundation. I actually really, really like it. And I didn't apply like a highlighter or anything because I just wanted to see how the foundation held up on its own. So I just set a little bit like in my T-zone. But yeah, I really like the way that it looks. And... Yeah, so I'm going to, you know, get probably do a real review for you guys once I've worn this foundation 
for a while, but I can say first off that I really like the way that it applies. I use a brush, so I haven't tried it with the Beauty Blender yet. And I like the coverage, I like the finish of it, and yeah, it's a drugstore affordable product. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will let you guys know my thoughts on the foundation overall. Um, maybe I'll add that into my vlog that I've been filming for the week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.